In today's tutorial, let's work on this baby bib together. Welcome back to the Crochet Crowd as well as Yarnspirations.com. I'm your host Mikey. Today we're going to work on this baby bib and this is a newborn size all the way to six months. This is using cotton yarn. You can either use Bernat Handicrafter yarn or Lily Sugar and Cream. Both are machine washable and this uh, makes for a great project especially for babies that you have to use over and over and toss in your washing machine. So let's go through the instructions now. You'll see that it is a dated pattern but the pattern is still very relevant for today. So in today's pattern I'm only going to be working in the bib and so the bib actually is just the first part of this and stops here. So the rest of it is for the booties if you decide to want to do that on your own at this time uh, I'm only doing the bib. So what we have here is that we have a shape that is kind of unusual. We need uh, some yarn here so you can just use a uh, handicraft or uh, cotton or you could just use uh, Lily Sugar and Cream. You're going to be using a five millimeter size H crochet hook today and this is a relatively simple uh, project to do. Let me show you about the shaping of this because that's what's going to be probably the determining factor for you. When we go to start this project we're going to start right on the base and then we're going to progressively get bigger and bigger as we go out and once we get that satisfied then we're just going to just continue up and it's going to go straight up like a rectangle. Once we get to that point then we're going to start and do one side only and we're going to stop early and just do this but you will notice that it starts curving in over like this here. Then what's going to happen is that we're going to come to the other side and we're going to fasten on and do the other side and it says in the instructions that we have the reverse for all for shaping. I'll talk about that in this tutorial. So there's actually no written instruction for this side because all you have to do is just reverse exactly what you do over here and make it over here. So that's not a hard, a hard thing to do. Then we just have to trace it around on the inside here for the inside of the neck area and then just do a nice tracing of the outside like so. So it's really not a difficult pattern at all. You just gotta take step by step and let's begin. So let's begin and create a slip knot. And we have slower tutorials available. This is classified as easy and it really truly is and if you're new to crochet there's other tutorials to teach you the basics of crochet. So we're just gonna chain 20. Remember the one on the hook never counts as one. So you're gonna go all the way to 20. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. So now here is the width of this and we still have a little bit of a border but you can see this is not overly huge and uh, because a baby is obviously not overly huge too. So let's uh, move on and we're gonna do row number one. So row number one we're gonna go second chain from the hook. So right where you are just count back there's one and two. Turn it over and get the back loop only and I want you to single crochet into the back loop of that chain and I want you to continue to go along this chain and do one single crochet in each. So just continue to go along the back of it and you'll have a nice perfect edge to work with later when you're going all the way around this. So just one single crochet into each one of the chains across. This is row number one. So I went all the way to the end of the chain and now I have to turn around and do row number two. So let's turn. So row number two and three are going to be the repeat pattern for a few more rows and let's start off with row number two and show you how it's done and then you have to do a repeat of that when you come back to row number two every other row. So you're going to start off by chaining one and in the very first one right there you're gonna apply two single crochets. This is gonna get a, a little bit bigger so it's gonna start that, that rounding at the bottom of the bib and so you have two single crochets in the first and now you're just gonna go all the way across now and just single crochet as usual. Okay, so you're gonna work yourself all the way across the row and on row number two it's then gonna finish with two single crochets right in the end and this is gonna create it to bulge by one extra stitch on both sides to create that rounded look. So I'll meet you at the end of this row. So in the very final stitch the last stitch is gonna have two single crochets into there just like we started on the other side with putting in two. That was row number two. So let's turn our work and do row number three. Row number three is very straightforward. We're gonna then have it relax a little bit and let it grow naturally. So you're gonna just chain up one and do one single crochet into each going all the way across. Okay. So one, uh, so row number two is about building it and making it an extra stitch so that it can create the rounded look and round number three is about allowing it to make that stretch 
instead of forcing it to grow too big too quickly. So it's a very easy thing to do. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get all the way to the end of row number three and then you have to repeat rows number two and three a total of three more times. So in the next set of instructions it says uh, from four to nine repeat rows, uh, last rows, uh, last two rows three more times. So you're gonna do uh, so four and five and then six and seven and then eight and nine. So it's just a really quite an easy thing. I'll show it to you on the sheet of paper as well. What I did to help myself keep organized and I'm gonna have you do that on your own after I explain it to you on the sheet. So just continuing to single crochet all the way across right into the very last one. So now I have to repeat number, uh, row number two once again but let me pull up the sheet and show you. So right at the top of the sheet for rows number four through nine it says repeat the last two rows three more times and so what I did for the base here is that this is row one or sorry row two and three just like this. I drew a line down so this is row number four which is the same as row number two. Row number five is the same as row number three and then six and then seven, eight, nine. So what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna do these three one more time. So I'm gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six. I'm gonna do these six rows and then I'm gonna meet you at the end of that and then we're gonna show you what to do from that point. So please do row number two and then three and two and three and two and three. So I got up to row number nine done. You can see it's progressively moving out and you should have a total of 27 stitches going across. You need to make sure that's true. Okay, so if you don't have 27 something is wrong at this point but now all you have to do is now you have to just go back and forth in single crochet without gaining any more. So it's gonna go straight up like a box. You need to grab your tape measure at this point and then just measure up six inches. So you can see I have this much to do in order to before I start doing the neck area. So continue just a single crochet back and forth. Let me just get you started. So all you just need to do is just chain up one and just do one single crochet into each going back and forth now until you get to six inches high. So continue to do that and I'll see you back here in just a moment. I now have my six inches in height and you're gonna finish off and you're gonna start so that the right side is starting and how to tell that is see where this is. You're kind of diagonal to it and we're about to start. So what we're gonna do then is we're gonna go back to the pattern uh, picture. I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do next and then I'm gonna follow that through and then do the other side and then we're gonna do the, the finishing touches. So now we're about to start one side of this project and what we're gonna do is then is that we're gonna go up one side and then we're gonna then skip over and get that done and then do the other side back up. And I'm gonna start with this and then finish that and then we're gonna do the borders. So let's begin the first side. So we're now gonna begin and the instructions say that we're gonna do everything in reverse. So just pay attention to where you are here because what happens on one side it has to happen on the opposite side when we get there and I'll show you that when we come. So let's uh, begin and we're going to chain up one and we're gonna single crochet ourselves in the first six stitches. So let's count those together. So you got one and two, three, four, and five and six but you're not done. So in the next two stitches what we need to do is put those two together to create like the formation of the nice rounded neck interior. So you're just gonna go into the next one, pull through, go into the next one after that, pull through, then pull through all three. That concludes round our row number one. So you just went straight up and in the inside we put two together. Let's turn our work and do row number two. So row number two we're gonna put the first two together once again. So we're gonna chain up one and we're gonna do it on this side. So just coming into the first one, pull through, going into the next one, pull through and all you just need to do is pull through then all three loops. So for the remainder of this we're just gonna single crochet ourselves right to the end of the row. This is row number two. So we decreased on the interior by the neck but we're continuing to uh, treat the rest of it in the width as normal. So this is what it looks like at this moment. Let's turn to work and do row number three. So row number three, simple. We're gonna keep the outside still the same. So we're gonna chain up one and one single crochet and we're gonna go all the way until the last two and we're gonna put the last two together. So just single crochet. This is number two and three. I'm just counting four and these two have to be coming together. So just going in, pull through, pull through. See there's the last two stitches anyway and pull through all three. So you should have a total left of five stitches in a row. So one, two, three, four and five and now we've now decreased on the interior but now we have to go up straight now that it goes around the baby's neck. So let's uh, continue and let me show you the next ten rounds because they're all very simple and it will be very quick. So let's turn our work. 
The next ten rows are very very simple. You're just gonna single crochet back and forth. So chain up one and I need you to count out ten rows. So one and two. There should only be uh, five stitches here. So this is row number one of ten that I just cr I got there. So I turn my work and then I just I'm gonna record that when I get there. And so I'm gonna record it off camera right now. So I got it. Row number one's done. Chain up one and one single into each and again it's only five stitches in a row. So please do ten rows of just doing this and then I'll see you back here in just a moment. We're gonna carry on for the neck area. Just as a side tip what I do because there's only five stitches and it goes so fast I actually hold a pencil. I don't know if you, any of you do that but I hold a pencil as I crochet because it goes so fast is that you can pick up and it takes longer to pick up a pencil and put it back down than it does actually just to hold it. So that was row number four. See just chaining up and you're carrying along and I want a total of ten rows. So that's just a quick little tip for you just in case you've never done that on your own. So I've just finished ten rows and I have to finish off so that my next starting is on the wrong side up here. So how I know that is that this is on this side of the work. Okay so just look at where you are on the camera angle and just where it is even if you're left or right handed because I would have switched the video. So that's just where you are. So let's carry on. We have to um, move forward and we have two more rows to in order to show you and then you gotta repeat um, those two rows twice more after that. So let's begin uh, the first next row. So the first next row we're gonna then start coming back into the back of the neck. So we're now gonna wrap around like this. So to do that then the first row is that we're gonna chain up one and we're gonna single crochet ourselves twice into the first one so that it builds back out. See how we decreased over here to come around. Now we're gonna build back out. So then all we just have to do is once you do the first two single crochets in the first one it's just one single crochet into the next one just like this. But the last two stitches, the last two are gonna be two together like that. Okay so it's also wrapping around also on the outside to create that, that turn. So let's turn our work and do the next row. The next row here is that we're gonna then continue to decrease around. So the next one is just chain up one and the first two are together like that. Okay so it continues that, that bend and then you're just gonna continue along into, until you get to the last stitch and in the last stitch you're going to put two single crochets into the same one. So then that continues then to force it to turn around the back of the head. So all we just have to do now is that we have to repeat the last two rows twice more. So four more rows. So let's do that. So we're just gonna turn our work. So the first one if you remember is chain up one and it's gonna be two single crochets into the first one. Okay and then you're gonna carry on single crochet like this and then the very last two stitches that you have they're gonna be two together. Okay so then that gets that to turn around even more. Let's turn our work again and start again. So the chain up one the first two are together to create that bend even more. You carry on with just single crochets and on the very final one which is next you're gonna put two into the same one. Okay so let's repeat the last two rows one more time. So the first one here Let's begin again. We're gonna chain up one. You can see the bend that you see. It's coming around. So that gives you an indication and so you're gonna then put two singles into the same one and then carry on with single crochet until you get to the last two which is next two. You're gonna put those together like so. Turn it work and this is the last time then is chain up one. Put the first two together. and then single crochet yourself to the end of this and put two into the last one. Just like that. You are now officially done. So if you lay this down at this moment you're gonna see that it comes around like this. Just like this and so when the baby's wearing it we still have to do border work which is gonna make it even bigger but what we need to do then is that we need to um, continue along with this in order to have it worked. So just hang on one second. 
So fasten this off and that's it. So I'm gonna just leave the long tail in for now. I'll deal with that later. And what I want to do is that I wanna turn this back so it's the right side. So see where the tail is in re re relevance to the camera? This is the wrong side. So you wanna flip it to the other side and start. And the how we did it if you remember is that when we went to go start we were on this side of the project. So now we have to skip over so many stitches here and do exactly what was here but in opposite format. So we, we're starting off in the middle so we just gotta watch these ones in the middle and let me show you how to start. To start the next side you have to count back a total from the edge of six stitches to watch. So one, two, three, four, five and six. Okay, remember that we had to do single crochets six in a row and then the next two are together. So once you had your six, you have to add two more. So just go to, to a total of eight there and that's where we're gonna start. So I'm just gonna create a slip knot so I have a good secure join and I'm gonna pull that through and that's where I'm gonna start. So why am I starting here and not the other side? Well, if you look at it here, this here is in line, it's going along. So if you start on the other side, so if I started over here and did exactly, you're gonna have a, a seam line that is very obvious right at this mark. And so you don't want that, nobody wants that. So let's uh, continue. So the first two are gonna be together, so we're gonna do exactly the opposite to what we did over here and that's what it says in the pattern. So we're gonna chain up one and we're gonna put the first two together, just like we know. And what I want you to do is put that straggler down on the top and capture it underneath the stitches. So once the first two are together, there should be a total of six left. Let's count that together. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, and six. Just like that. And I buried that all the way to the end. So let's turn our work and we have to do what's opposite. So let's just turn our work and see what is opposite for this next row. So if you remember we only decreased when we were in the inside of the neck. Okay, so not the outside, we went straight up. So we're doing everything opposite. So then we're just gonna chain up one and one single crochet into each going across up until the final two and then the final two we're gonna um, put together. So just carrying along one single into each until you get to the final two stitches which there they are and you're going to put those two together. And that was row number two. So let's uh, begin and do row number three. Let's turn our work. And that was also a decrease and that's where we are right now because we're on the middle of it. Okay, we're in the middle of the project. So we're gonna chain up one and put the first two together and then single crochet ourselves together. This is row number three. So how many stitches should there have been left after the end of row number three? If you said the answer is five then you're correct. So I can count out five. So one, two, three, four, and five. And all you just have to do now is you have to do your ten rows going back up. So just turning a work and again just one single crochet into each one of the five stitches. So one, two, three, four, and five. So that is row number one of ten. Please do a total of ten of these and I'll meet you back here in just a moment. So I have my ten done. I still haven't trimmed that out and I should be on the wrong side and look where this is, tail. So that's remember when we did the other one we were on the wrong side when we started the next part and the tail was there as well. So we know that our stitches are in line with each other. So what we have to do now is that we have to then complete and start doing that bend towards the, the back of the neck. To do that, remember, is that we're gonna start on this side. So we're gonna chain up one and the first two are gonna be come together. So this is kind of the opposite what we did. That's what it says to do is a reverse and we're just gonna continue it along and then we're gonna put in two single crochets right into the very end to allow that to then bend towards the middle of the neck like that. So let's turn our work and start the next row. So we have to continue that bend. So we're gonna chain up one and do two single crochets into the first one and then single crochet across and the final two stitches then will be two together which is right now. Okay, so that was rows number, if you remember that was rows, uh, the next two rows. So we have to repeat the last two rows two more times. So let's just turn our work and do that. So let's do that. So we're gonna chain up one. Look where the bend is, that's your indication and the first two are gonna be come together and then the next ones are gonna be one single in each except for the last one there will be two. Ok, 
Okay, and let's put in two into that last one. <laughs> I think I missed that. And then turn our work and do it again. So just that is gonna be two into the first one to keep that bend moving around and then single into the next ones. And the last two stitches once again will be two together to continue that bend and then we just gotta do it one more time. So turning our work the first uh, two are gonna be together. So it's chain up one, two together to start and then singles right to the end except for the last one there will be two into that one and then finally just one last time we're gonna put two into the very first one. So chain up one, two into the first one and then singles across except for the final two you're gonna put those together. So the final two are gonna come together like that. So what I wanna do now is that I wanna lay this down on the table before I finish off make sure it looks right in comparison to the other one. You see that? So I know that it's right and so all it will do is it will pinch together. So what I wanna do is finish that row off now and then I want to start the outside edging and that's what we're gonna do next. Before I start any of the outside edging that you see is that I want to finish these strands off nicely and I want to get them out of the way. They, this will be going around a child's neck. Don't want any loose ten, uh, tails hanging off. So all you're just gonna do is put it into a darning needle and just glide it underneath these stitches. Don't impact any of the stitch work on the edge because you need those then for the final rounds. So if you go in and out of the project three times back and forth you will never have loose ends falling out because it's impossible for your work to stretch in three directions at one time. So just in and out underneath the stitch work with a nice sharp needle especially because it's cotton. Just don't stab yourself and just continuing along like that. So please do that with all the tails that are currently hanging out and I'll see you back here in just a moment. So we're now gonna do the trim work. I'm gonna use the same color. Of course you can use different colors if you wish. So what we're gonna do is that we're gonna do one single crochet around the entire thing and you're gonna go all the way around, come back into the inside and then back all the way around. So it, it literally is all the way around. So it says to attach it to the top left corner of the neck edge. So I'm gonna go right here. Now because you did single crochets, you, each row equals a stitch when you're down on the side except for the bottom here. It's, you can see that there's clearly stitches. So whenever you're working on the sides, just remember that it's one in each. So just fasten on chain one and I want you to single crochet into each one of the sides of each row. Single crochet is really good for that. So you just come into the next row. Now take this straggler down right here and I want you gen this to hide it underneath. Okay, so you're just gonna work right underneath, uh, right over top of that strand and therefore it'll never show. So continuing that each row gets one single crochet on the side and continuing to work all the way around. So uh, please do that and I'll see you at the end of this re revolution. It won't take you long because it's not a very big project. For those that might leave me an email, just so you know on the corners there's no extra stitches added. Okay, so there's no added uh, like three into the same stitch to do a turn of a corner. So just continuing to follow it around with no extra attention to the corners. And this will give a nice rounded look that you're looking for that matches the shape in the photograph. So I'm coming up to the final of going all the way around and the next uh, round that we're gonna do is not gonna be completely all the way around. We're only gonna stick to the actually outside edge. We're just gonna leave that middle alone uh, for, the re, uh, for the last row that we're gonna do around. And once we get there we're just gonna slip stitch to the beginning one that we had started with. So what I'm saying to you then in the next uh, row what you want to do is that we're gonna come all the way around back up and we're not gonna do anything with the interior here and then all you just need to do then is just put on your button after that. So let's uh, begin to do the final. So we're now about to start the outside and this will only go on the outside edge. Do not do it in the middle. Okay, so it's just an outside only. You're gonna start by chaining one and you're gonna do three single crochets in a row. So one, two, and three. And you'll notice that there's like points that come out of the outside. That's a pico. So in order to do that you're going to chain up three, one, two and, th and three and coming right in to the bottom of that at just slide your hook in. Okay, yarn over pull through and through. That creates a point. 
and now you're gonna do the next three. So I'll show that again. So it's just next uh, three is a single crochet. So one, two, and three. And now you're gonna do another pico. So to do that, chain three, one, two, three. Look where I'm sliding the hook. So I'm just sliding it in. Do you see that there's two strands down on top once I get it in there? See? Yarn over pull through that one and that one. And then continue along. So the next three, so one, two, and three. Then chain three, so one, two, three, in to the base. Pull through and through. That's a pico. Okay, so one, so let me speed up, two, and three, and a pico. So one, two, three, and pico. These picos don't take long when you do them. So please do that all the way for the exterior uh, border of your bib. Do not do it into the center. So I'm now at the same corner point as I was over here and I just wanna make sure that I just do, I did my last pico and I just wanna make sure I get my three in a row like I had started with on the other side. So all I'm just gonna do now is fasten this off and all you just have to do then is just to, um, to what I would do probably is just slip stitch it and make it nicer and then use a darning needle and hide that in. And then all you just need to do is you need to find a button enough that will can split this open. So the button has to go between these stitches. So you sew it to one side and then just clip it to the other side. Make sure that the button is extra sewn on tightly. Um, you don't want anything popping off this. And if you go a little bit further out just like so it will open this up even more wider. So this is how you do a bib quite easy actually. I was actually kind of surprised by it. I've never done a bib ever in my whole <laughs> entire career of the crochet crab plus even when I was just a regular crocheter way back in the day. So this has been fun. It's not been uh, too difficult. Uh, I've been kind of avoiding bibs because I figured it'd be more complex than it is but truly in fact it's not. So just uh, weave in your loose ends and again if you just go back and forth uh, three times in and out then your work will never fall out. So this is how you do a bib. It's uh, quite easy and I hope you enjoy. So until next time it's Mikey on behalf of the Crochet Crowd as well as Yarnspirations.com. Have a great day and we'll see you again real soon. Bye bye.